What is up guys, Dr. Felix ASMR here, continuing the Walking Dead final season. So now it is time for the rescue mission. We have to save our friends, steal their supplies, scare off their horses, and try to prevent AJ from becoming a cold-blooded killer. Let's do it. Oh, and one more thing. Big, big thank you and big welcome to my first and new patron Feisty Cuff, uh, who pledges $2 a month. Uh, thank you for that. And as promised, you will receive all early access to all future roleplay videos, which I do weekly. And if you guys also want to become a patron, then I will leave a link in the description down below. But anyway, let's get back to the game, shall we? Gross. Get my back. Ugh. Okay. Nice and Thanks. easy. Nice and easy. You gonna do it? We're doing it. Let's kick some ass, guys. Holy shit! Use X to get behind walkers and avoid getting shot. Ready, got a walkers. Hey, that looks like Carol. Follow me. This way. <gasps> what the hell? How? How do they walk underwater like that? Back the fuck off me. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Move between. Go, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, fuck, I hesitated. Oh, 
Wait for it. 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 Go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, this is pretty intense. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers! Come on, come on, come on, come on. God, we're in the boat. We're in the boat. We're in the boat. I'm gonna take a sip of my cherry soda. Ah, okay, we just completed Act Two. Episode Three is almost done, and we're only six minutes in. Oh my God, this is so intense. Some intense shit. Mm. Well, we're not going in through that way. John Wick this bitch. Uh B. for the cat otherwise she won't stop meowing okay we don't want AD to be killer so that's why I chose just to knock out the guy I'm pretty sure we gotta go Uh, 
Ruby's Revenge, baby. Time to live up to your name, Ruby's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. We gotta find everybody. You got knocked the fuck out, bitch. Okay, we can't go that way. Are they gonna be. Oh, hello. This is so intense. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fuck. Uh, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Is that really Lewis? 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 <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Don't no. fucking point to that! Don't fucking point to that! Oh no! Violet, you fucking bitch! I mean, not Violet, Minnie, you fucking bitch! What the hell happened to you? Lewis. <laughs> Holy shit, Lewis. <laughs> what did they do to you? Cut out his tongue? Oh, 
He'll be home soon. I can't believe it. Dude, that is dark. Scratches. I'm not staying here that long. Holy shit, they cut out his tongue? Just because he kept talking? Jesus. There's gotta be a way out. Get us out of here. I promise. Jesus. They cut out his freaking tongue. Like, what the hell are these people? Let's see. So how do I get out? Sheet metal. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh, the gap? Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Let's look through the door. Clem, are you alright? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Right. Uh, check up on AJ. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. Good boy. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Uh, Violet. Vi, are you alright? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes. The latch. <coughs> All we have to do is just lift them up. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn, they must have taken away my knife. Uh, of course. AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. On the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. That a boy, AJ. A shiv. Fucking bastards. They cut out a kid's tongue. your ass. He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his hand. AJ, shut the fuck up. Fuck. You little monster. <clears throat> that was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Make me. Yes, 
Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. Come on, lad, go away. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So, so one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they helped defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say, but you'll see. I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. Ah, uh, shit. We didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Riley, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you're gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, no! Get off of me! 
Easy. Stay still. Fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. Oh shit! Jay, shut the fuck I up. I you to make a great soldier. I'll leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem is dying! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Stay moving. I want to be far away from you. Fast. I'll start off with Boyle. No! Don't do it. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. You're so sweet. I'm sorry we trusted that fucking mom. If I ever thought you were going to I know. I know. Okay? Sophie's dead. But you all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down. Stay in line. Or you die. The people you love die. You just do what they say. You can live. All of you. You can sink with the rest of them. Thank God. Thank you. This is getting intense. Shit. We still got five minutes left, guys. Let's do it. Tin. Fuck. 
damn it. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am, he wasn't below. I got something else to show you. No. This way. If I ever needed a big giant dog, now's the time. James! Under there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine? Nothing to say, you know, fucking scary. Tell her, James. Is that so? Force your ways on the mothers. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Tim. Don't hurt him! Just stop hurting people. Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, I see. You came here to cry. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! Goodbye, AJ! <laughs> Should have kept my hair short. What have I done? Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead. Uh oh. Shit, the bomb. AJ! 
I'm really sorry guys, but we have to end the gameplay right there. But oh my god, what a cliffhanger. Oh man. There was no way I was gonna let that lady live after everything she did to these kids and to Lewis. Oh man, that was so fucking epic. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Anyway, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and and uh, you know what, guys? You know what? Screw it. Screw it for tomorrow to do the other part. Oh, we didn't really had a choice. Okay, so it turned out that th that this was actually the end of uh, of episode three. You and 89% of players mercy killed Abel. You and 49 of players re respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. You and 13% named the bomb Ruby's Revenge. Mitch's masterpiece, Willie Jr. You and 86% of players allowed AJ to attack Dorian, stopping her from cutting off your friend's fingers. 53% told AJ to kill Lily. Yeah, screw that bitch. I have a few days yet to wander. A few more hard battles to fight. Mia. No comfort I find in the daylight. The storms are descending each night. Sometimes I'm all tossed and driven. Sometimes I know not where to roam. I heard of a city called heaven. I'm going to make it my home. I wander in this land of danger. No comfort or peace to life. I am a poor wayfaring stranger to troubles and trials confined. I hope that they take me in, in heaven. Deliverance, deliverance, He's worried about everybody. Lord, was he said that you wanted to name the bomb? Sometimes I am tossed and driven. Sometimes I know not where to go. I heard a city. Wow. So tomorrow we begin. Episode 4 of the final season of The Walking Dead.